guys. Good afternoon. Uh, I want to speak about AMP Museum Experience Music Project. This museum was built in 2000 and it cost around 100 million dollars. Uh, the museum founded by Microsoft's Paul Ellen and it's a non-profit museum. Actually, the location of the museum is uh, lost from Space Needle and um, is in uh, 325 Fifth Avenue, North Seattle. And uh, the designer of the museum is Frank Gehry. Frank Gehry was born in 19... Can you hold on for just one second? Can you finish? Because I can't hear. So, put your step down. In 19... Okay, go ahead. Okay. He, uh, Frank Gehry was born in 1929, and he was born in Toronto. Actually, this designer is very strange. He has lots of strange building, like this one, and also he has this one. Yeah. Yeah. It, uh, it's in Prague in uh, Sheikh Republic. Go and just stand there. So the building is very It's a nice uh, No. It's like the woman and the man and they're dancing together. Huh? No, this building, dancing house. Oh. oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, actually, the museum from Deep Art, first box is science fiction icon. First icon is for the Matrix, the movie. Okay, it's the, the big, uh, the long black coat, and uh, it's actually in the movie it's more better than in the in the picture. Yeah. And the second part is about her movies. It's uh, the main phrase in the in this part is you can't look away because it's kind of scary. This one from Supreme Key. This movie was in actually 2003. Yeah. And actually, this mask came very popular in the world. You know, this mask goes to face mask. And the second one from the movie, Friday 13th. This mask, uh, actually, in this movie, this man likes to kill the people while he's walking. And the third one is Kill Boy, yeah. Angel of the Deep. Uh, actually, I didn't watch this one. But I think it's very well for us. The second part of the museum, Fantasy World of Myth and Magic. First one from Snow White movie. Actually, in this movie, they try to change Snow White picture. Uh, this one for Snow White armor. Yeah, it's from and, uh, and the second one for Christian Theron uh, the Queen. Okay. And the third part of the museum, Guitar Gallery. This picture is about 700 instruments for uh, American public music. And I like this one because uh, I took this picture. Because I think it's different from the other. And actually some of the guitars don't have this part of it. I don't know why, but I think some of them do. And the uh, third part, uh, the fourth part of the museum, Sound Lab. Actually this part you can play music in any kind of work. Like uh, guitar, piano, or something. The fifth part of the museum for Martin Scholler. Martin Scholler was born in 1968. He's the best photographer in New York. Actually, his picture is very pure and very natural, so it doesn't have anything like we or something like this. And this is for Angelina Jolie, she's an actress. And this is uh, the Paris Hilton. 
she's an actress and she also the founder of uh, Hilton Hotel. Yeah. Thank you. And I want to speak about my feeling in the museum. It's about strange. That's all. <laughs> strange because I think he's the most he's the most designer strange in the world. Okay. And uh, if you want to get there, you can get there by to go to downtown and get line D to go to the music. You will go to around three minutes to get to the music. And if you want to get inside, you can, uh, the cost to get inside 15 if you buy the ticket online. But if, buy, if you go there and buy the ticket, it's around $20. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. Actually, I have brochure the museum for someone wanting to read it. Yeah, does anybody want to take a look at the brochure? Yeah. It is kind of a, we call it funky place, the way that things are set up. Would anyone like to know why the guitar was broken? Why? Why? Because many artists, after they have played a really good concert where everyone oh, was super yeah. excited and everybody was into the show, they would um, break oh. it at the end. So that was just a moment of extreme passion. So they take that guitar and they put it in a museum because that broken guitar celebrates that moment that that artist had. So that's why. Huh? Who's that artist? Whose guitar was that? I don't know. So I know that there was, there, was, there was a few different people that were kind of famous for destroying their guitars afterwards. Did somebody please stop the... Stop, stop. Oh. Mm. <laughs>